working on different joint patterns. And one of the things we start with is changing the architecture of the feet, which Natalie did with me in the Move Pain Free 2 class. So for Zoom people, I've had two clients now, one who had orthotics in her shoes for 40 years uh, because of foot pain. Uh, we reorganized the architecture in her feet, the joint architecture, and she hasn't used the orthotics now in four months or so, no foot pain. So we reversed the joint architecture in her feet by 40 years, which is kind of cool. Okay, so it looks like it's just us today and our Zoom members. Our Zoom members, my name is Steve Avellino, certified fitness trainer corrective exercise specialist and specialist in senior fitness with the International Sports Sciences Association. I have a company that called Reverse the Aging Processes, which works on fitness and corrective exercise specifically for seniors. Okay, this is a glute workshop. We're gonna be working just the glutes in the six week program. I mentioned to you guys before, <clears throat> I've seen this with every single one of my clients, my private clients that I did not see for a few months or four months or so, had pretty good balance, pretty good stability, and now some of them are falling. Reason being, with COVID, they were sitting all the time, their glutes shut off, and these are the primary stabilizers of the hip, and that's why they're having issues. So let's start off with the heel squeeze. So get behind your chairs, hold on to the chair. You can leave that on for now, okay? So all we're doing is we're taking our heels, make sure they're touching, and then we're squeezing the heels together. When you do that, you feel your glutes contract. All we're doing with this movement is just to activate the glutes, wake them up for the rest of the program. So Natalie, your heels are touching, squeezing, you feel it in the glutes? Yep. So I don't want you to think about squeezing the glutes, just have the heels touch and think about squeezing the heels together and the glutes automatically contract. So let's do a few sets of those, hold them for five seconds, relax. Let's do five sets of those. Hold for five seconds and then relax. This is a great movement if you are on a flight at the movie theater, long ride, once you put the heels together, squeeze them, the glutes contract, they're now active. They support the five lumbar vertebrae in the lower back. So it's, it's tough when you get off a plane, you feel awful. And there's a bunch of different reasons for that. But once you, I mean, you can be sitting there for three or four hours, the glutes aren't working, you wake up or you get up, there's back pain, there's stiffness. If I'm on a plane, I'll get up every 20 minutes put my heels together, just kind of pretend I'm looking around and do the heel squeezes to activate the glutes. Okay, once you've done five sets, you can sit down and watch out for your band, uh, Natalie. Exactly, exactly. So for you Zoom people who did not hear that, one of the students just mentioned doing the heel squeeze, you can feel it automatically tighten the glutes. A lot of people will start to feel it in the lower back as well, which is good because that's the glutes supporting the lumbar spine. Okay, if you wanna sit down and put the bands on. So how is everyone today? Good, good, good. no pain? I have a friend who's so I told her about your program. Yeah. She said she wants to pick up the child and she said he's patient and they need it. I don't think so, do you? No. I, don't I mean, some of it is similar, but, but no. I don't think so. Yeah. I'm a corrective exercise specialist. A physical therapist actually does hands on stuff, which I do not do. I just take a look at joint actions or issues yeah. and then create movements to affect that. So if she has back pain, pain, if it's not a medical issue, if it's a movement issue, is the body telling us we're moving incorrectly. And all I do is take a look at, once again, the joint action and say, these muscles are overactive, these muscles are underactive. That's why the joint isn't working properly. But no, back pain, I've probably had, I don't know, I just hit 800 students last week that I've helped, 800 seniors, and probably at least at least 100 have had back pain. 
and lots of them, it's either gone or it's lessened. Okay, so with your bands on, man, I'm psyched. You guys look ready to go. What's that? Right. But the problem is when the class doesn't isn't a full class, you guys have to do more work. So I apologize. <laughs> okay, to the back of your chairs, please. Okay, Zoom members, what we're doing now is called a hydrant. We're holding on to either, ideally, if you're doing this by yourself, hold on to the kitchen sink. Straight, straight right leg all the way back. When you do that, you feel your glute contract. If you want to do this with resistance, and you have one, you can put a mini band, step into it with both feet, and it ends up right about this height above the knees, which gives you more resistance when you're doing these exercises. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to bring it out as far back with a straight leg and hold it for 15 seconds. Once again, if you're just checking in, straight leg, and you're gonna feel this right in the glutes. This is one of the few exercises that will hit all three gluteal muscles, so the muscles of the butt. Fight the band, Natalie. What? Fight the band. How? Fight it. So stretch the band. Oh, okay. As soon as you do that, yeah, oh. your oh. glutes just light up. Oh. That's very nice. Right, well, the main thing is keep the leg straight. Also, make your foot straight. Your foot's going out to the side like, yeah. like this. So try to keep the foot straight, okay? It's harder. When you keep the foot straight, you're working the gluteus maximus, the big muscle in the butt, which does hip extension, which is what we're doing. What's happening is your foot is coming out, which is external rotators of the hips. We don't necessarily want to work those. So leg straight, foot straight. And once again, we are doing this with a straight foot, straight leg. Hold it, feel the glute contract. Okay, good. How the glutes feel? You're starting to burn a little? Yeah. Okay, take a seat. We're gonna take a 60 second break and then we'll get back to work. You guys both had really good extension. Yeah. Yeah. Now here's the thing. Our glutes shut off when we sit, okay? So when we sit, we're in hip flexion, which is this. Our hip flexors get tight. They kind of pull us forward. With the hybrid, which we just did, we're in hip extension, which is the opposite of this. So we're not only activating the glutes, we're toning down our hip flexors, which is good because here in America, we all have overactive hip flexors because we sit all the time. There was a study done on a kindergarten class. I think it may have been a Stanford, I'm not sure. Kindergarten class, they took a look at their hip mobility and it was really good. They took the same class first grade, retested them, and the hip mobility was now suffering because at first grade, you sit a lot more than kindergarten. So this starts when we're really, really young, which is not good. Okay, next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna keep the bands on. Zoom people, if you do not have bands, you can get them at Amazon. A bag of five of different strengths for like nine dollars and change. Wonderful investment. Okay, 
So we're gonna do the lateral walk. So you can be at the front of your chair and we're just doing this. You can keep your arms out for balance. If you want, do it slow. You want to stretch the band and feel it right here. Good. Very good, Natalie. That's super deliberate. You look like you're about to start a wrestling match. Okay, other direction, Natalie? So you're feeling it right here in the hips. Yeah. Okay. I like to get all the attention. What's that? I like this because we're getting all the attention. <laughs> <laughs> You won't like it 45 minutes in. <laughs> uh, yeah. So do a few of these. But once again, Zoom members, make sure you have your balance and stability. You've got the band over the knees. We're taking a long step and then follow. The rear leg, you're trying to keep the band stretched, okay? With this exercise, we're working the gluteus medius, which is this tiny little muscle here and it attaches right here and comes down and crosses over the hip. It is the primary stabilizer of the hip. When we sit, it goes to sleep and then other muscles have to take over to stabilize the hip. But this movement is great for balance and stability. And also bikini season is coming up in six months. So you guys will be ready. Okay, take a seat. Right now your glute medius around your hip must be on fire. To change the name of this program from Glute Workshop to Glutes on Fire. <laughs> yes, it would. So how's things, Natalie? Good? good. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. Yeah, we're still deciding whether the kids are going to come over or not. Um, I don't know. Crazy times. Well, holidays are always good, but it's going to be different. I mean, we have three kids. We'll be in, and with spouses, we'll be under the ten. I think it is for indoors, ten people. But I mean, it won't be fun if we're all eating in different rooms. You know, <laughs> tell my daughters to eat in the upstairs bedrooms. <laughs> We'll have a Zoom feast. My, okay. My feeling is it's not healthy. I mean, like every time you ask, it's not healthy. It's pure healthy. It's no one. Right. But that's my concern. Yeah, as long, as long as you're wearing a mask, I have no issues doing classes as long as I have a mask on and we socially distance. Right. Uh, I consulted with a long term respiratory therapist. When this first started, who works in a COVID ward, as opposed to listening to things in the news or whatever, I just sat with her. Okay, so now we're going to do the monster walk. So if you guys want to get up, you want to keep the bands. Be careful with your balance. We're just going forward, short, sharp steps. If you do not have Zoom members, if you do not have a band, do it without it. You're, you're going to feel it a lot when you're going backwards. Okay, stop. Let's get long. Okay, tighten up the abdominals a little bit and now do it and feel the difference. Spread the band a little bit more, Natalie. Now, can I put a different size band or not? What's that? Can I put a different size band? Different, different size or different yeah. strengths? The different size. The, all different strengths. Right? Okay. Yeah, you can. Um, but keep in mind, actually, let's finish this up and I'll explain it. That's a good question. Okay. So this is called the Monster Walk Zoom members. We are stretching the band. And when you walk backwards, you're especially going to feel your glutes start to burn. You already are. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. 
Student just brought up a good point. She says it's good to have your hands on your butt when you're doing this because you can feel the muscles contracting. You can feel which muscles are working. Okay, take a seat. And we're gonna give you a couple minute break. Wait, now you guys are burning. Now, for Zoom members who are just uh, tuning in, I'm seeing with every single one of my private clients who I haven't seen for a few months due to COVID that the glutes have shut off and they're losing their balance and stability. So we always have to work these muscles. They are some of the most important muscles in the body. Beautiful weather, huh? Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna get up and we're gonna do the hydrants again. So we're here, back of the chair, extend with a straight leg and hold. Keep the toes pointing in. We do not want the toes going up. So we don't want this, we want this. Okay, your glutes are getting fatigued because you're starting to shake now. That's good. Yes. Natalie too. Okay, the other side. Oh, so your question, should you use a stronger band? There is a fitness component to this class, but it's mainly corrective exercise. So it's not like we're doing three sets of 20 with X amount of weight. We're reactivating, waking up the muscles. Once we wake them, wake them up, they remember what they're supposed to do, muscle memory. Um, we can try if you want next week, remind me, I'll give you a stronger band, but you'll hate me by the end of class. <laughs> yeah, but keep in mind, we're, you can feel the activation already yeah. with the yellow band. So we're out, straight leg, straight foot, hold for five seconds, feel the glute contract, and then other side. Okay, take a seat. We're going to give you a 60 second break and then we'll get into the other ones. You guys can have a seat. So, in one of my other senior centers, I started a senior boot camp. They wanted serious physical exercise. So, so I told them, I said, okay, we're gonna have a senior boot camp. I put together kind of like a course for them. And I said, it's just, if you've been in the military, it's gonna be something like that. So I showed up wearing camouflage pants and all the members of the class showed up in camouflage for the first class. It was hilarious. They, they had been planning it for weeks, but they didn't tell me. Yeah, because it's been the same group for over a year now, it's on Thursday morning, yeah. Foxborough, yeah. But before the COVID thing, we pretty much had the same group in the different classes, because you were one of the first ones, yeah. Okay, let's stand up. We're gonna do the lateral walk. So, spread the band, be nice and tight through the abdominals low steps. We're gonna stretch the band. When you come forward, this, instead of just doing this, kind of stretch the band with the set, with the back leg as well. Yes, exactly. Okay, other direction? Man, you guys are gonna be burning up by the end of this class. Good. So once again, Zoom members, this is the lateral walk. If you don't have a band, you can do it without it. So we're stretching the band, we're feeling it right here, right around the hips, and that's our glute medius muscle, which is the primary stabilizer of the hip. Okay, lateral walk back to your chairs and sit down, take a break. You guys must be on fire by now. <laughs> okay, yeah. 
Okay, you can have a seat. Yeah, we all seem to have a dominant side, so we can feel it more on one side than the other. What we're gonna do with the next program, which starts December 1st, there are pretty much, uh, this is Dr. Dr. Kelly Starrett, who was brilliant. And he was talking about, there are seven archetypal moves that the body does that represent the start and finish of all human movement, okay? So what he means by that is you can be, have a dumbbell, okay, here, and be able to do all these dumbbell presses, be strong in this plane of movement. You can be sitting in the passenger seat of your car, reach back to pick up a five pound pocketbook and hurt your shoulder, okay? So what he was subscribing to was the, the theory that we need to be strong in all ranges of the movement. And that's how we get hurt, okay? We can be working in this plane here and be really strong. And then all of a sudden, once again, back seat, grab the pocketbook, ah, shoulder issue. What we're gonna be doing with the next program is I'm gonna be taking you a joints through full ranges of motion. Uh, so there's going to be, so the, the archetypal moves, we as humans, we all should be able to do this, okay? Now, obviously as we age, we can't, but we're gonna start working slowly towards that. Humans should be able to do this, pick something off, off the ground. We should be able to reach. We should be able to reach this way. We should be able to be in this position with no shoulder. Like I'm, I have serious problems in this position because of shoulder impingements, but I'll be putting together a program where we're working starting and finishing through these particular joint ranges. So that way, if you have to do it occasionally in daily life, your brain's gonna say, oh, we've done this before, okay? Because one of the problems the way we get hurt is we move a different way to accomplish a daily task and the body hasn't done it in years. And that's how we end up getting hurt. It's gonna be an interesting program. Okay, let's stand up, please. We're gonna do monster walk, feet wide, Braced abdominals, short, choppy little steps. Think monster. Forwards and backwards. If you do not have a band, you can still do this. Band just adding resistance. Zoom people, if you have questions or if you want to know about bands, you can get them on Amazon at like nine bucks. You can email me at steveavelino.com. A B E L L I N O. You can message me on Facebook uh, at reversetheagingprocesses.com or you can go to my website, reversetheagingprocesses.com. And hopefully I'll be coming to a senior center close to you. Spread the band a little bit more, Natalie. There you go. You're like a machine today. <laughs> Okay, both of you take a, uh, have a seat, take a break. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you, your glutes are burning, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're, all, and, and we're only 30 minutes into it. I'm very enjoy it because I'm trying to get this next week. The weather is so nice, so I bet you a lot of people are doing yard work or out walking yeah. or whatever, because this weather is, I mean, each week I say, okay, this weather is great, but it's done for the season. And, and snow, right, right. Okay, how are your glutes feeling? Good. Any pain? probably start feeling kind of strong because the glutes obviously are attached there, but when the glutes are active, the right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's a good thing. That's a good thing as long as it's muscle and not joint. Okay, you guys can and if you can just hand them to me, please. Thank you. 
Thank you. Try a sip of water and hydrate. So after this, I'm going into Boston to see my grandson, who's probably close to three months old now. Oh, wow. I know, it happened quick, it happened quick. So I'll check out his movement patterns, his posture. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, they live in Boston. Where is that? Uh, Boston, by the airport. Oh, Boston. Yep. Mm -hmm. But every time I go over there, I have to check them out, make sure everything's functioning properly. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's pretty good size. I haven't seen him in a couple of weeks because we're trying to limit it because of the COVID thing, oh, yeah, yeah. you know? So otherwise my wife would be there every day. Okay, first half of the program is done. You guys are feeling your glutes. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, we are going to go behind the chairs, please, for skaters. Oh, yeah. Zoom people, hold your chair or your kitchen sink so you have stability and balance. What we're doing is one leg behind the other. Think ice skating. When you first start this, you're not going to have really big steps. After a while, the depth is going to increase. So not only are we working the glutes here, we're helping our hip mobility because we never work in this plane of movement like this in daily life. Skater movement is excellent. I haven't really thought about it, but I may use it in over half of my programs simply because we're working in a different plane of motion. Exactly, exactly. Good point by, brought up by one of our students. She's noticed she's getting stronger balance wise during the skaters. Not a problem. Not a problem. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, no worries. No worries. No apologies yeah, needed. <clears throat> okay, so we're doing skaters. So get behind your chair for balance. Actually, you're lucky. I just beat these people up for the last 30 minutes. <laughs> No apology needed. We all make mistakes. Okay, Zoom people, once again, <laughs> skaters, hold on to your kitchen sink or a chair. When you're doing these by yourself, definitely hold on to the sink because it's really stable. Start out easy, short steps, loosen up the hips. You may find doing this that your hips start, the hip joints start getting a little warm. That's good. It's now releasing synovial fluid into the joint, which is like a natural lubricant. So it's like we're taking an oil can to our hip joints. Okay, you guys can take a seat. Your glutes are on fire. By the end of this class, you'll be able to dunk a basketball. Your glutes are going to be so springy, Natalie. We'll see if, if you can jump and touch this, this light up here. <laughs> you will notice if you do this for a while. I notice if I do this class a few times a day that I have, it's like a spring. And when you think about it, that's the way we felt when we were younger. We were like a giant spring. And then we sat down for 40 years and all hell broke loose. Okay, we're going to give you another 30 seconds and then we're going into another set of skaters, please. How are you today? Excellent.
Okay, get behind your chairs, please. We have a set of skaters. I think it's the weather. Probably yard work, out walking. So all the commercials I see are walking to stores. It seems like Christmas is next week. So maybe people are Christmas shopping. Oh, I know. That drives me crazy. Oh, it does. So let's, let's get to Thanksgiving. People right. Are on, uh, correct, on. correct. There are two radio stations, FM radio stations that are playing Christmas carols. Yes, I know. I don't understand. Oh yeah, my wife told me that. Yeah. Commercial. Yeah. And I can kind of understand this year why they're doing it because businesses are down, so they want to get people out shopping. But still, yeah. When I was flipping through the, the radio stations in my car and I was like Christmas carols, it's like come on. And this was a week ago, I think. I think they started November first. Yes. Okay, you can sit down and take a break. We're on the home stretch here the last 20 minutes. Wow. Grab some water, good idea. She turned 99 last Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. And she's been in, she's 99 years old. She's been in a wheelchair for four years. And couldn't, when I started working with her last year, she couldn't get up at all. Okay. And when I did get her up and it was in, it was in the Sharon class, she was frozen obviously with fear. Okay. And she's at the point now, last week, I had her standing up straight and I was supporting a little bit of her weight, but she was supporting most of it for nine straight minutes. It was yeah. wonderful, nine minutes. She's standing there nice and straight. And it's great because having been in a wheelchair for so long, the blood flow is an issue. And when she stands up straight for, you know, eight or nine minutes and sits down, she feels awesome because now everything's flowing. So I'm hoping maybe by the first of the year to start transitioning her out of the wheelchair into a walker. Oh, it's wonderful. And that's the cool thing about these classes. You said they're different from exercise classes. This is corrective exercise. When we were younger, our muscles always used to, would work the way they were supposed to. And then we sat down for 40 years and didn't do much. And then the muscles went to sleep, but you can wake them up. So once again, this woman, and you can wake up no matter how old you are, because this woman's 99. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, she's standing now. When I first met her, she could not move her left arm. Now she's doing dumbbell curls with it. With a weight. Yeah, and she couldn't move it last year. It's just like frozen. Okay. So let's do... We're kind of limited because with the new rules, I can't come down off the stage, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to the back of the chair and we're gonna lift the leg out to the side. I want you to try to keep from having the toe point out. I want the toe either neutral, straight, 
or in, okay? If you're going out, we're working the external rotators of the hip, we wanna hit the glutes. So when we do this, the foot is automatically gonna to wanna to come out, point the toes, try to fight that. Good. And then alternate sides. So your right toe is coming out. Try to keep it straighter, okay? When you keep it, when it goes out, you to feel it more in the hip and the front here. You can feel it more in the glute. So you can tell when you're doing it right because you're gonna feel it back here, not here, okay? So just lateral leg lift. Nice and slow. Yes, exactly. You're gonna feel it. Zoom people, you're gonna feel it right about here going up. So you're doing it right if you're feeling it in the back of the butt. Very good. Now you're gonna find that one foot is gonna to want to externally rotate, go out to the side like this more than the other side. And that's because we have dominant sides. My right side always goes out more than my left and that's due to hip rotation. Okay, let's do a few more please. Nice and slow. Focus on this one, focus on the back of the butt doing the movement. So you should be feeling it right here, not here. Not here. That's it. If you want to put your hand there, you can feel it working. Okay, perfect. Because you, because you you're making the mind muscle connection. Good point from a student here. If you want to do three or four on one side, put your hand here and just make the mind muscle connection where you're feeling this muscle starting the movement. So feel this movement back here, not here. I don't care how high, okay? All I want to, you to be aware of is this muscle firing, becoming contracted, okay? As long as this muscle is working, I don't care. If you can get this by going here, that's fine. Okay, sit down and take a break. Okay, so we have 15 minutes left. We're gonna take some of these movements, we're gonna do them one after another, okay? And really get the glutes on fire. <laughs> All you people are cursing me behind the masks. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start off. I have to ask you to put the mask over the nose, please. They're very strict about that. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna stand up. Grab the back of your chair, we're doing the heel squeezes. So heels are touching. Make sure the heels are touching. Squeeze the heels together, hold for 10 seconds. Feel the glutes contract. Excellent posture, Natalie, excellent. Okay, relax. Squeeze the heels. Notice when you squeeze the heels, your pelvis does this. Excellent. Relax. Squeeze the heels. Yes. Reason, does anybody else notice that when you squeeze the heels, your abdominals fire? Okay. Especially you, because we worked on this with bracing in the last program. Okay, take a break, but stay at the back of your chairs, please. 
So the cool thing, once we squeeze the heels, the glutes are active. Now your abdominals are contracting. We are connecting the upper body to the lower body, okay? When you were seven years old, you could go out in the backyard and do a cartwheel. I couldn't, but the girls in the neighborhood could because we were connected all through here. Then we sat down for 30 or 40 years and we lost this and now we have separate bodies. Upper body is separate from the lower body. I've had two clients coming off of hip surgery and a woman in the Sharon class, Margaret's daughter that she comes with who had an ankle sprain. When I can get the lower body and the upper body connected and braced here, the two women with the hip issues that had a limp, when they're walking braced, the limp goes away. Margaret in the Sharon class with the ankle issue would have pain every time she put weight on it. When she's walking long and braced, there's no pain. Reason being, we're supporting the upper body weight through here, so that's no longer dead weight, which has to be supported here. And that's why there's no pain, okay? Okay, now, Spread your feet about a foot or so. And we're just going to squeeze the glutes hard, hard as you can. Ready, go, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. So when you do it, Janet, it's like you're a bouncer or a doorman at, the, at a nightclub. As soon as you squeeze, you, as soon as Janet squeezes her glutes, this happens. It's like, I would not want to mess with you. Okay, let's do it again, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Your abdominals are contracting big time when you do it. Your shirt goes in when you do it. So I found doing the braced abdominal work, which is in a different class, I've lost an inch off my waist, simply by firing these, okay? Okay, glute squeezes, ready, go, hard as you can. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. See what happened to your belly? Right here, as soon as you relax, when you brace the glutes, the shirt goes in. When you relax the glutes, the shirt goes up, okay? Now, here's the thing. When our glutes are totally active and our brace is active, we're taller, okay? We have more of a spring in our step, and it's, it's like we were walking like we were 40 years ago. And it, that's, that's exactly the way it happens. Okay, one more time, squeeze the glutes hard. It's like Natalie's in the army. Okay, relax. Okay, hydrants. Five each side, hold each side for five seconds. Straight leg, contract the glute. Straight leg. We want the foot beautiful to be straight. We don't want the foot going out to the side like this. Much better, much better. Your right foot was externally rotating big time the first time you did it. Now you're doing it and it's straight. And that's gonna work the glute harder. Yeah. Right, because we're going into hip extension and you were using hip external rotators to go up as opposed to the primary hip extender, your big glute max muscle here, the big one. And that's why it's easier. Excellent point. Okay, what do you mean when you say pain? So it feels better when you're doing the work and then after a while the pain starts, understood. Yeah, yeah. But ideally, if you practice this enough, right, you're gonna be like this all the time because once again, the muscle has memory. Yep. Yep. Okay, so now we're gonna do without a band, lateral walk. 
Once again, we never move this way in real life. We go forwards, occasionally backwards, never off to the side. Nice and slow, relaxed. Think balance, stability. Right now, your butt muscles, your glutes, should be keeping you stable. Once again, Zoom people, if you want to do this with a band, it adds resistance. Everybody still feeling this in the glutes? Yeah. Natalie's not even speaking to me anymore. Her glutes are on fire and she hates me. Okay, back to the chairs, to the back of the chair. Not, you're not gonna sit down. Oh, no. <laughs> nope, there's no sitting. I said we all the attention today. That's right. Yeah. So what's going to happen since the, we're going to, we're progressing through the program here with the last 15 minutes, we're going to go nonstop. So now you're going to be having students say at the beginning of the class, yeah, I have to leave 15 minutes early. I have a dentist appointment or something. <laughs> so, so they don't have to do the last 15. Okay. Monster walk. Spread the feet. Short choppy steps forwards and backwards. Squeeze the glutes when you're doing the squeeze the abdominals. Natalie, get nice and braced and do this, okay? And now backwards, just be careful backwards, nice and slow, stable. Think about being tight here and tight here when you're doing this. Excellent. So you're so tight that you're actually walking like a monster. Good. Okay, and then go to the back of your chairs, please. You guys are doing well. I'm giving you a 60 second break because I like you. <laughs> What's that? No boot camp. No, the boot camp class went pretty well. It went pretty well. But they had, they had finished up my circuit training program and they said, is there anything more strenuous? And I said, are you sure? And they said, yes. And so then the week after that, I said, I've put together a senior boot camp. And then they were starting to second guess themselves if they wanted something so strenuous. Okay, let's do skaters, please. Holding the chair or your sink at home. Now you're gonna find, since the glutes are so active, that you're going longer and deeper. Your glutes are fatiguing big time. Okay. Yes. Natalie does not do anything slow. For a, year, for a year and a half, I've been saying, Natalie, slow down, slow down. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. So you're going much deeper, Janet. That's really good. Really good. Remember when we first started these, you would like doing baby steps? Yeah. Now you're going much deeper because you're getting stronger and there's more hip mobility. But the glutes are definitely getting stronger. Yes, but not in this class. Oh. Yeah, this is all glutes. But yeah, I have upper body programs. Yeah. Now the next program that starts December 1st here, we will be doing upper body work because we're doing all sorts of joint motion. Okay, so that should help. Okay, we've got five minutes left. Take 30 seconds break at the back of your chairs. Back of your chairs. <laughs> yeah, she was just looking for 10 or 15 seconds to sit down. That was it. <laughs> okay. We are going to grab the back of our chair. And once again, lateral. 
Think starting the movement with the back of your butt, not your hip. That's it. When you start it with the back of your butt, you can't travel, the leg can't travel as far, but we're activating the muscles we want to activate. So just make the mind muscle connection right here from the back of the butt to start the movement this way. Once again, we want to keep the toes straight forward. We do not want the toes to go out like this because now we're working, working external rotators of the hip, not our glutes. So nice and slow. When you get to the top of this movement, you may want to try contracting, tightening your butt when you get to the top. So let's do this, up, and now tighten the butt. And it's hard to tighten in that position. Mm -hmm. Okay, stop these feet about a foot apart. Glute squeeze for 10 seconds as hard as you can. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Is anybody feeling that in here as well? Beautiful. Now we're even connecting the upper body to the lower body even more. We're not connecting through here, we're connecting through here. They go up into the groin and we're connecting here. Another month or two, you guys will be doing cartwheels. Okay. <laughs> I can never do that. Squeeze the glutes, nice and tight. Pelvis comes forward, relax. Squeeze the glutes. Relax. Squeeze the glutes. Relax. Squeeze the glutes. Relax. Man, you guys must be hurting because my glutes are starting to burn and I've done like one tenth of the work that you're doing. So let's finish up with skaters. <laughs> you're going even deeper, Janet. More on this leg than the other leg, but that's okay. Okay, stand with your feet apart. Glute squeezes, ready, go. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. When you squeeze your glutes, your posture is ridiculously good. And once again, we're connecting the upper body to the lower body. Squeeze. Relax. Squeeze, relax. Skaters, please. Let's go. I will have the staff get us wheelchairs to bring us out to our cars after this. <laughs> there you go. Okay, glute squeezes. Ready? Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Natalie, bring you the toes of your right foot in straight. There you go. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Skaters, please. The skaters resume, people. Once again, it's one leg behind the other. You'll find over time, you'll be able to get deeper on these. Okay, you can have a seat. Nice job, ladies, for sure, right? Get back up, I was lying. Nice job, nice job. I take it, your glutes are on fire? Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Okay, thank you Zoom people. Steve Avellino here, certified fitness trainer, corrective exercise specialist, specialist in senior fitness. You can find me on Facebook or on the web at reverse the aging processes.com. 
If you have questions about these movements and how they're done, email me at Steve L-L-I-N-O at yahoo.com and I'll send you out the homework that I've given to the class. Nice job, everyone. You guys killed it today. So you can go home, you work up with the dentist day, and then two hours, you can send me nasty texts about how much your glutes hurt. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you.